I thought, uh, I thought um, Patrick really set a great tone for us. And um, you know, we all know that, uh, that the starting pitcher um, creates a rhythm to the game. And he did a great job. He gave us six outstanding innings, no runs, let us play some downhill baseball. Uh, we had to battle all day long against a very quality pitcher in Corey Kluber, and I thought our offense was was fantastic in taking what he was giving. Um, you know, some just timely timely hitting, some really heads up base running, and uh, that's one of the qualities of this team that uh, um, we tend to overlook. We do a good job on the base paths, and, and it's credit to these guys for paying attention to certain details that allow us to pick up 90 feet and in this situation allow us to score some runs. So. Overall, it was a really nice team effort. I know there were certain hiccups along the way in the seventh inning. But uh, as, as we go as a team, uh, we, we were there to pick each other up. And I thought everybody did a great job at that today. How tempting was it to not come back with Lucky in the ninth inning? Well, <clears throat> we have a closer in Fernando Rodney. That's his job. That's what he's brought in here for. I know Archie did a great job uh, in, in really uh, season control of the seventh inning, worked a quality eighth inning, and it's his job to hand it off to uh, Fernando. So as far as temptation, there was there was none. So would you say that you're moving closer and closer to Bradley in that notch you know, <laughs> for a while? You know, for right now, we're going to still ask Archie to, to switch roles from time to time. He's going to continue to be our long man. He's throwing the ball very well out of the bullpen, and we know that uh, – he can walk into some leverage situations as he did today. So we have a very versatile bullpen. We have a bunch of guys that can go out and, and, uh, and take care of a moment. Uh, and it was Archie's turn today. He did his, he did his job. Well, what's your reaction on the best record in all of the <laughs> I'm really proud of these guys for that. I really am. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, when we're on the backfields in spring training and, and these guys are working their, working their butt off trying to, trying to grasp some concepts and go out and execute it, and it, it translates on, on, on a playing field right before our very eyes. Um, they deserve all this credit because they, they prepare themselves for this moment. They deserve this moment. Uh, and you know, it's not a time for us to, to get all soft and cozy. We've got to keep, keep grinding away at it, and I expect these guys to do it. Right. Well, these guys sell out for one another. Um, they obviously, they're 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 ready to make plays, and they're there to do things like that and, and uh, sell out for their teammate. And you know, your heart skips a beat when you see David jump over into the stands, given his track record recently of some injuries. And when he gets up and shakes it off and and, and goes out and continues to play, it really sends a nice message to his teammates. Sends a nice message to everybody around that uh, that he's here and selling out to his teammates. So. <clears throat> I think I think when we have a lot of good moments, when things really go in our direction, that becomes contagious, and we're doing a lot of good things, doing a lot of things right on a daily basis. We had two quality teams walk in here, and um, we we won a lot of games, and uh, that should that should speak for itself. You also tied the uh, start of franchise history. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm very proud of these guys for that. <clears throat> I, I, I don't want it to be a distraction. I think they are keeping their mind in the moment, and they're going to play for today. Um, and you know, we're we're going to celebrate this this moment as, and, and move through it as fast as we can, uh, and get ready for a very tough series up in San Francisco. Right. Right. Well, much in the same as it has been over the past uh, past week, that we're going to focus on today and uh, and not look past it. And and we know what they're capable of doing. We know what every team is capable of doing, in uh, at the big league level. So um, I I want our trend to continue. I want us to play our brand of baseball. I want us to go in there with with clear minds, and execute the way we know we can. And you know the pitcher is going to set up, set the tone for us, and we're going to pick it up from there. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing you just mentioned that really stands out to me is, you know, Archie walks in and, you know, his his uh, you know, his heartbeat's pumping. He's ready to go, and he's got to slow down, execute, and make pitches. And he did it for the seventh and eighth inning. So that's that's hard to do for for a young pitcher. It's hard to do for any pitcher at any time. 
But Archie deserves a lot of credit for staying focused and, and executing and getting this and, and transition in the ninth inning handed off Fernando. But it was a confusing seventh inning. There was a lot of challenges. There was, uh, you know, some um, some different types of plays that you don't see every day. But I think, uh, you know, the key for that whole entire inning for me was was Goldie picking up that ball that that um, on the bunt from Martinez. He got us a big out, um, and and uh, you know we we were able to preserve the, the lead at three to one. Through all of those circumstances, through some erratic pitching, through some um, through some <clears throat> really inconsistent defense, we walked off the field in the seventh inning ahead three to one. That's that's what a team does. Well, I think it was probably the same thing you were thinking, and everybody else—the thirty plus thousand fans in the, in the stands were thinking. My heart skipped a beat, and and uh, I had to kind of swallow for a second and catch my breath. But that's what makes this game so great. There are moments like that where your heart stops, you're up, you're down, and uh, you know you end up winning the game. Nothing's better. So how's your first week? Uh, Pretty good, pretty good. I've been sleeping good at night, um, and you know, look at we're 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 six and one. We had a great home stand. It's time to turn the page on that and keep this thing rolling. Well, we love it. We feel their energy. We feel we feel their passion, and and uh, it's always nice to play in front of a crowd like that. Um, but you know we're we're in a we're in a good place right now, and uh, you know we got to earn the respect of the National League. We have to we have to keep playing good baseball to to get the fans to to back us, and and um, we know they're there. We know they're supporting us, and uh, hopefully we can keep this thing rolling and fill this thing up for the rest of the year. One straight game against the NL West. Now I guess mm -hmm. we'll find out where you are. Well, I think I know where we're at right now. Believe it or not, I feel good about where we're at. I feel very comfortable knowing that this team has walked a very fine line in uh, in some good and bad moments and came out on the other end as a group. And uh, as I said, when when you have a lot of a lot of critical moments and, and you and you walk off the field victorious, I think that builds a lot of great team chemistry. These guys believe in one another, and um, you know we're, we're still laying that foundation. I know I said it today, and you're gonna probably hear me say it all year long. And we're not onto our second brick yet. We, we are still laying down brick number one at this foundation. We have a long way to go. Chris Owens had a terrific game when he did a home run and stole the bases. Mm -hmm. Talk about him a little bit. He got a bad impression today, but all the contributions. He's just an exciting player. I think he, he's versatile. <clears throat> the power doesn't surprise us. We get to watch his batting practice every day. We watch his work habits every day. And he's, 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 he's able to beat you in, in a variety of ways. So um, that versatility offensively helps us. Uh, the defensive aspect of it is uh, is is well above average, so that's why that's why he's our shortstop, and uh, you can see that he had a big hit today. Um, he's consistent in picking up the routine ball. He's, he's a very good baseball player that we're lucky to have in there. Did you get a call that double steal, or, or was he? Is that something they just read? Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into that. That 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 was something that. Uh, in the walls of that clubhouse, they know what happened. Do you think you got to that ball in the seventh inning where you tried to start the double play? They originally called him uh, safe, and then they called him out. Mm -hmm. you know, what, what was your assessment of that? Um, I thought that um, I thought that maybe the, the the feed wasn't exactly perfect and, and right in his footwork. You're talking about when he covered second base and, yeah, and, and in that situation. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> the feed wasn't exactly. Uh, um, perfect, and you know, Co did a good job to to get to the ball, get in front of the ball, and, and it's hard. It's a hard play for for a middle infielder to organize his feet. You start to see that play more and more today. And I was watching a game earlier where a second baseman um, failed to turn a ball. It looked like a clean double play, but the and the video can slow things down to to the millisecond. So you know, exposes those moments. Unfortunately, the play wasn't made, but I thought it was a tough transition for him. He did all he could to get to the ball. So what's that? We did? Yeah, yeah. Look, you're right. I, the video. We have we have a great video team behind the scenes, and um, they they give us a lot of information. And 
you know, he said to challenge it. We did, and we won the challenge. It was a big out. That was actually the, the biggest out uh, of that inning for me. That was a game, really. Could have been.